Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So ever since I built my first electric vehicle people were telling me that I should spot weld my batteries instead of soldering them together. So I decided to put some research in it and I mean the reasons are pretty obvious. Soldering your batteries creates a lot of heat and stresses the batteries a lot but I didn't find any real research towards soldering actually damaging your batteries. That's why I think it's still a quite good solution but it's a way cleaner, safer and overall better looking solution to just spot weld your batteries. But here comes the problem. Spot welders online usually cost around 300 euros and that's like the entry level spot welders and they have very low quality. And I spoke to a lot of friends who already used them and they told me that they break very easily and I should rather invest in a very expensive spot welder like 1000 euros or above. I did some research online and looked for other ways to spot weld my batteries. That's when I found people using their microwave transformers to spot weld batteries. This setup allows you basically to spot weld batteries with the same quality as the big weld. But now you need a good regulation circuit for this whole thing. That's the hard part of this whole project. <laughs> So the principle is very simple. You basically have your transformer right here and you have two windings on there. This side and the other side. It converts electrical energy into magnetic energy and then back to electrical energy. And it only works with AC voltages. What a microwave usually does, it has some windings on this side, 230 volts right to this side and you have on the other side way more windings so comparing the number of windings on this side to this side you basically have like a 1 to 40 ratio you have like a 1 to 40 ratio so you have 40 times the voltage from this side on the other side so we basically have 40 times the windings on this side compared to this side and also 40 times the voltage now on this side compared to this side 10,000 volts coming out of here also AC current of course. So what you usually do to create a spot welder is you basically completely remove this side of the winding and keep this side. So it's basically quite an annoying process to remove all this copper stuffed inside this transformer but when you're finished you can basically put in here like a very big wire that only makes a few turns. So now all of a sudden because before you had like, I don't know, 100 turns on here and uh, 4000 turns on this side. So you had your 4000 turns that comes out to a 1 to 40 ratio. Now you basically replace the 4000 with like 3 for example. We basically go down to a 100 to 3 ratio for example. All of a sudden on this side we have like a very low voltage, just like I don't know, 6 volt AC of course. But since we are decreasing the voltage, we, we are increasing the available amperage we have. So all of a sudden we can draw like 6 volts but hundreds of amps. And this is the part that allows us to spot weld two metals together. By creating huge amperage, so we can create a lot of heat between the two materials we are touching and spot weld them together. It works quite simple, you usually have like your battery right here and you place like a nickel strip or something on there. You basically use these two wires that are coming out of here and place it right next to, to each other onto the metal. Now you basically apply 230 volts to the input side and all of a sudden you're creating hundreds or maybe even thousands of amps on the other side with very low voltage and you can spot weld two metals together. What you can also do with it is if you keep this voltage alive and constantly pump in 230 volts, you can basically also destroy metal.
but in our case we only want to apply the voltage for a very very short period of time so we can actually use it and not destroy our battery so we have our ac input right here up here 230 volts now we could just enable the switch with like a finger triggered one or something but that would be way too long and we would melt our battery. I used a Arduino as a timer, a Arduino microcontroller as a timer, which basically enabled a relay. This relay now enabled our big relay and the big relay could handle like 30 amps or something. So we were quite on the safe side of switching this whole thing on and off. And that actually worked quite decent. But I had some problems with it because now we are switching over not one but two relays and they have like a plus and minus of like 20 milliseconds each so we can basically add on like 40 or 60 milliseconds to our whole switching time that brought a huge problem with it because now I had some cases where the spot welder were actually melting through the battery. But instead of using like a normal relay, I used this thing called solid state relay. They actually don't have anything to do with normal relays. There's no coil in there. There's no mechanical switching in there. It's basically a triac. You can switch way faster with it. I was just about to spot with my battery back together to get, <laughs> to get it working again since I destroyed because I destroyed this cell and I just <laughs> and I plugged in my, my spot welder and because this thing just draws way too much current I tripped our circuit breaker and I turned off the power for everybody and in my, the whole part of my apartment so everybody was without power and people started writing in their whatsapp group when I don't have power anymore I guess I repair this thing uh, at the weekend, so yeah. So over the weekend I traveled home to my parents' house and this is the place where I used to solder and build all my stuff, so yeah. The reason I'm here is mainly because I want to spot weld my battery back together since, as I already told you, I accidentally destroyed one of the cells from my pack when spot welding them initially. The reason for this fault was basically this thing. It was a relay switching another relay. These are the big relays that actually destroyed uh, one of my batteries because the switching on them is not really that fast and they have very high tolerance when it comes to timing. I haven't printed a new casing for it. It's still the old casing uh, with some added on features. I basically installed a light bulb uh, parallel to our output so we can actually see when power is flowing. The principle behind all this stuff is basically still the same. Because my transformer is very big, I need to use like a lot of wire. All these cables are just here to increase the resistance of the whole setup right here because my transformer is just 
way too huge and has way too much power. As soon as you connect the coil to 230 volts, it basically triggers your circuit breaker. That basically happened to me in my college dorm. So that was a little bit stupid. I got my transformer here, safety goggles on. <laughs> I, I didn't have any real glasses laying around, at least glass that I could use. It's just for the purpose of sparks not flying directly into my eyes. <laughs> Turning on the spot while that works. I have of course my 3D printed switch. I accidentally, this was an old design, I improved it since, but I haven't printed a new switch. But yeah, I figured just put some foam between it. If you connect these two together, I trigger this thing and inside, blue light inside basically shows you when it's firing and how long it's firing. So if I press it constantly, you will see it just, it, it doesn't fire anymore. And only if I, now it's firing. So yeah, works perfectly. Let's turn this thing on. Okay, seems to work. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we spot welded that and this spot weld looks so much cleaner than any previous spot weld. Wow. Okay, do you guys see this? Yeah, now I see it. Do you see the spot weld? It looks so much cleaner and better than my usual spot welds. Wow, okay. I'm convinced this will work. <laughs> I'm very convinced that this will work. Yep, it works. And it creates a way cleaner weld than ever before. Mm hmm perfect. And now the spot welds look way cleaner, so definitely build your, uh, definitely build your spot welder with a triac and a Arduino as a timer because that just creates way cleaner spot welds than this technique does. It works! I mean, I spot weld the whole pack but it's even cleaner than just using like a simple timer or a relay. This is like the optimal solution, I think. That's, that's the real deal right here. Maybe now you can see it. Yeah, see how, how good it welds on there? It basically rips out holes from the, from the nickel and sticks it on here if you spot weld it. So yeah, these, these very clean spot welds hold on perfectly. So I basically got the microwave from eBay Classifieds. Um, uh, it was for free on there. So I basically designed this casing for the op open spot welder. I still need to change out the, the relay part. I currently, uh, this part is for the Arduino, this part is for the relays. And basically I can trim this down because I now only need the solid state relay, as I already told you. And here we also have the, the foot pedal that I am using, which basically needs some screws and everything, but it works perfectly. You can 3 print it from the side. It it's consists of two parts and it just works. So things you need, Arduino Nano, you need a 1602 display with the I2C driver right here, like this one. So I would go with a very high amperage rating. So you need a solid stage relay, something like this, that can switch AC on the output and, and can take like three to five volts on the input because that's what your Arduino is giving the solid stage relay. I don't want to go too deep into technical details, into all the parts and what you need to wire up. If you never built anything with electronics, if you're not really uh, experienced with electronics and if you don't do this stuff on a regular basis I will definitely not recommend you do any of this stuff either go for a working buy option and just buy a spot welder or put in the work learn all this stuff and then come back and build something like this you can literally kill yourself if you do anything wrong with this thing it's quite dangerous and you could burn down your house or kill yourself if you do something wrong. So I will provide you this design and the foot pedal design in the description as well as the complete Arduino code. This right here is the Arduino code. Here's basically our pin, pin out. This is the relay pin. Currently we are working on digital pin 5. 
and our input pin is pin 2. So when we first start up our, our spot welder, we have the option of choosing our welding time. Here you can set the default welding time, that's that after if you if you skip the, the settings, you can you can just tap the foot switch. If you're on the startup page, you will go up in steps of 10 from 30 to 250 milliseconds. And I would really recommend using like something like 30. Just set it down to I think 30 milliseconds or something. Uh, 30 milliseconds is already a really safe and good spot well. When you start up, you can you can tap the switch and then you can change your uh, spot welding time. And as soon as you uh, stay off the switch for a few seconds, it will switch to normal operation mode and stay in there until you restart the whole system. It has some great features, like for example, the debounce timer. If you press the switch once and it spot welds, you can't press it again and the spot weld continuously. You always have to wait for a certain time. In this case, I set my debounce timer to 1.5 seconds. This is my debounce open timer. So you need to keep the switch open for 1.5 seconds and then you can weld again. That's basically just a safety measurement. So you don't accidentally spot weld uh, multiple times. After every time you press, you have to wait for 1.5 seconds for this thing to re-enable again. Every time you press the switch, a LED on the Arduino will blink up. You basically have pin 5 right here, pin 2, ground right here, and we got our LCD. How to wire up your LCD, you need to Google that. That's our 1602. It's just a four wire configuration from our I2C driver right here to our Arduino. We go to our solid state relay right here. Solid state relay. And then we have our switch right here. This is our foot pedal. This thing basically is connected to our transformer. 230 volt input. And on this side we obviously have like the two windings and our two electrodes that are for spot welding. So this is our complete setup. We have our Arduino Nano right here that's connected to an LCD and showing us all the information. And the solid state relay is basically triggering our high power circuitry up here. And another thing I have on there is basically I have a light bulb right here in between, right parallel to this thing. So as soon as I put down the switch and this thing powers on, I can see that it's actually powering the coil two to six volts maybe with hundreds of amps and on the inside we have 230 volts so the code will be on a github also linked in the description as well as our my 3d designs as well as this schematic i will also link it down you can rebuild this yourself if you want it will work it's i think the best budget option to build your own spot welder if you are not experienced like i already said don't try this that's it for today's video Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content about electric vehicles and other stuff, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you don't want to miss any future content, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye.